All right. Hey there, everybody. My name is Corey Jones, and I'm with Compassion Works for All. Thank you for joining us today um, at Compassion Works for All. We provide mindfulness meditation programs for folks in jails and prisons. And um, right now, during COVID, we are basically locked out of most places. We're not able to physically go into a lot of the, the units we're accustomed to being in, but we're trying to find some creative and clever ways of staying in contact with people, and that's especially through the mail. Um, and in fact, I just had a conversation with someone this morning where I told them um, that we, we kind of have to treat things as though it's the mid 90s when it comes to communicating, um, because there's rarely internet access or email access for people that are in jails and prisons. Um, so we do a lot of correspondence. So anyway, all that to say, we do have a volunteer training coming up this Saturday, September 18th, I think is the official day from 11 to noon. And uh, it's just one hour real quick, but if you're interested in volunteering with us, we'd love to have you on that. Um, also, I'm sporting our new uh, Compassion Works for All shirt. We have these in both yellow and blue. If you're interested in buying a shirt, I'll just make a little pitch for that. Uh, but they're uh, $25 on our website, CompassionWorksForAll.org. And the last thing that I want to say is next month, um, I believe it's the second Sunday of October. I'm sorry, I don't have the exact date in my head, uh, but it's Little Rock Yoga Fest and it's happening out at Wildwood Park and a whole bunch of yoga studios from the area are coming together um, to, to put on this big whole day of yoga um, out at the beautiful area out at Wildwood Park. Um, Compassion Works for All will be one of the vendors out there. And so we'd love to see you, love for you to come on by. Um, and go participate in Yoga Fest. Right now, if you go to Yoga Fest, I think it's like lryogafest.org or something like that. If you just Google Little Rock Yoga Fest, I'm sure the website will come up. Right now, you can get $10 off your registration with the code UNITE, U-N-I-T-E. Um, UNITE will get you $10 off your registration. So, okay, all of that business stuff out of the way. Today, I want to talk about the idea of non-striving. Um, there are some ideas in mindfulness that um, whenever we, when we try to apply them to every moment in life, we kind of find ourselves going, wait a second, I don't know that this really applies, but if we understand what it actually is and, and the, the actual practice, then it, it kind of makes sense. And non-striving is one of those, at least for me, it is because on the surface, it sounds like we shouldn't try to do anything that if we're, if we're doing anything, then we're forcing our, um, agenda, we're forcing our own, um, uh, 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 cravings into a situation. That's not really what it is um, because we have responsibilities throughout the day that we have to go through. Um, so for example, um, the other day, my youngest son and I, uh, we walked down into our garden down in our, our backyard and our, our tomato plants are starting to get their final tomatoes of the season are, are coming out. And so he and I went down and we picked a couple. And then we went over to the driveway where we put up a couple of chairs and we started doing his flashcards. He's in third grade and he's taking Latin, which is pretty insane to me. But anyway, uh, we started going through his Latin flashcards and he was really struggling and was just getting frustrated and, oh, I can't remember that one. Oh, man. And he would just get really mad at himself. And I finally told him to just take a breath. And I handed him one of the tomatoes and I said, hold the tomato in your hand. And I said, if you hold it too loose, what's going to happen? And he said, the tomato will fall out of my hand onto the ground. And I said, but if you hold it too tight, what's going to happen? And he said, I'm, I'm going to bust it and it's going to explode everywhere. And I said, yeah. And I said, so there's a, there's a, good, there's a good middle way of, of holding the tomato in a way that's not um, so loose that you drop it, but not so tight that you bust it. And that's really where our mind should be. And to me, that's a great um, way to talk about non-striving. Um, we're not apathetic. We're not just, oh, I don't care about anything. But at the same time, uh, we're not so intense and so uh, locked into things that we become frustrated and wear ourselves out. And we tend to do this throughout the day. We can be very rigid. And I don't like, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't like what this situation is right now, or I don't like how things are going right now. And I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to try to force it. And we end up frustrating ourselves. Or we go to the other extreme where we're just so apathetic <laughs> and, and we're just we're just done. We're just not thinking about anything um, that that life kind of keeps moving past us. And so there's a middle way in there that's that is called non-striving. And non-striving is accepting the present moment as it exists letting it be what it is, but also fulfilling your obligation to the moment. So for right now, 
um, I have an obligation to be prepared to talk to you about something and to lead us through a, a guided meditation. So that doesn't mean that I'm going to uh, force everyone to, to meditate exactly perfectly. And if you're not meditating perfectly, then we're not doing it right. And I, I have to make sure everyone's doing it perfect. That's not my job. Uh, nor is my job to just not show up and, and blow this whole thing off. My job is to be here, to be present, and to guide us. And then we'll just let whatever happens, happen. And that's the idea of non-striving. Um, so we're alert and we're attentive and we're present, but we're not trying to force things that aren't actually here. Um, so I hope that that makes sense. And with that in mind, uh, I would like to lead us through our meditation time today uh, with non-striving as a, a focal point. Um, so if you would, find a comfortable place to sit. If you're seated like me, I invite you into a mindful posture with your feet flat on the floor, your knees about hip width distance apart. Go ahead and let your shoulders relax. And unclench your jaw. And in this mindful posture, we'll begin with three bells. without trying to do anything fancy. Just allow yourself to begin settling into the present moment. And together, we can begin to connect our awareness, our attention into the present moment as it exists. And we all have our various distractions that take place. We have our internal distractions that occur inside of our heads. Maybe even inside of our bodies, you might feel tension, tightness. You might be a little bit uncomfortable. And we also have external distractions, the sounds and the noises that we hear around us. And so for just the first few moments in the spirit of non-striving, we're just going to let all of those be exactly what they are. Allow whatever is taking place inside your mind to take place. And allow whatever is taking place inside of your body to take place. And allow whatever is taking place around you, whatever you're picking up with your senses, allow it all to take place. And let everything be exactly as it is. Let's bring awareness or bring attention to what's happening inside of our minds. Where is your mind right now? What is it thinking about? What is it doing? Has it drifted into the past, thinking about things that occurred earlier? Is it drifting into the future, thinking about things that maybe you still have on your to-do list? With a sense of gentleness, like you're, like you're picking up a puppy to return it back to its spot where you want it to sit and stay. 
approach with that amount of gentleness. Bring your mind back into the present. Take active control over your attention and over your awareness. Rather than letting your mind drift, hold it just right in the present. And again, not in a way that's too tight or too tense. We're not trying to block everything out, but also not in a way that's too loose or too light where our mind is going everywhere, but with just the right amount of attention, hold your mind in the present. Let's bring our awareness now to our breath. Breathing in and breathing out through the nose are the most basic exercises for mindfulness. And so on your next inhale, just notice the air as it comes into your nose. And on the exhale, just notice the air as it goes out. And let's continue doing this for a few more breaths. Just noticing the air as it comes in and noticing the air as it goes out. Let's do this one or two more times. And if while we were focused on the breath, you notice your mind drift a little bit, Go ahead and return it back into the present. And again, in a gentle way, and avoid the temptation to block everything out. Avoid the temptation to stop all of your internal thoughts and to stop all of your external sensations because we can't stop the world from moving and we can't stop our minds from thinking. It's what both of them do. So in a state of non-striving, we're just going to be, we're just going to let everything be as it is and we're going to be present with it. If there are things around you that are distracting, sometimes it helps to just name them. I hear a person talking. I hear the air conditioner blowing. I hear cars outside. And 
this brings the energy into our prefrontal area of our mind where we have control over our attention. And if you happen to be in a place where external distractions are not the problem, but perhaps internal distractions are, that your mind is just moving so fast, our breath is one of the best tools we have to help our mind focus. So you can return to your breath at any moment. And sometimes it helps to say to yourself on the in-breath, I know I am breathing in. And on the out breath, I know I am breathing out. I know I am breathing in. And I know I am breathing out. And so for the next few moments, we're just going to sit in quiet stillness. And in a spirit of non-striving, be present in the place where you are, using either your senses to name what you hear, smell, see, taste, touch, or using your breath to quiet the inner distractions. Let's sit now in quiet stillness together for just a few moments. Gently bring your mind back to the present if it has wandered off. And take one last final deep inhale through the nose. And breathe out. Hope that, that was helpful for everyone um, and that you can take this, this practice of non-striving with you throughout your week. Uh, being aware, being present, being attentive, showing up in the places where you're supposed to show up, being prepared for the things for which you need to be prepared, but also letting reality be what it is without striving, without squeezing too hard. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining us and we'll see you next time.